let us be clear. The mob violence we witnessed on January 6th is squarely rooted in white supremacy, rooted in deep-seated racism that continues to permeate civil society. Though not, though not the only culprit in this uprising, it is clear to me, it is clear to us that President Donald J. Trump personally incited this insurrection causing major damage to the Capitol and to our democracy. Trump has fueled the flames of racial division since early days in New York, long before entering the White House. Remember Trump claiming Barack Obama was not an American citizen. Remember private citizen Trump demanding the death penalty for the innocent Central Park Five. Donald Trump has fanned the flames of racism a very long time. And so what we saw on January 6th, incited by Donald Trump, was thousands of white nationalists carrying out the wishes of the president and storming the Capitol, seeking to kill and maim members of Congress, including us in the Congressional Black Caucus. As an African-American who has a seat at the oversight table of the Intelligence Committee, I cannot deny the clear double standard of security for black peaceful protest and what we saw on January 6, white racist supremacists that caused the attack on the United States Capitol and our democracy. It cannot go unanswered and it will not go unanswered. We have to address the real and violent white supremacist threat that is in the United States. This nation must deal with its stain of systemic and institutional racism. I think the first and foremost, we must have an, uh, uh, an investigation top to bottom, both our intel as well as Capitol Police, uh, federal as well as state and local um, um, uh, investigation into law enforcement. Uh, when I think about accountability, I think that we have to hold this president who is a clear and present danger to the American people and our democracy accountable. We actually had one of our leaderships in that role begging for National Guard to come in. When there was intelligence out there that this was in the plans, it is unacceptable that that size of a crowd could come and actually take over not only the grounds, but take over the halls of Congress.